Hi friends, this is Aishriya from Freshersworld.com. Welcome to our YouTube channel on Jobs and Careers. So, the topic that we are going to look onto it today is ages. So, the general concept of problem that you will face is that, let's take uh, Ram as an example. So, Ram is so much of years at present, then how much age he will be after 15 years or how much he will be 15 years ago. This is a common type of problem you will face. So, to understand that, there are four concepts that you should know. So, let's always take present age as x. Whatever be the type of the problem, you should always take the present age as x. And they are telling that Ram or x is 15 years ago. Let's take 15 years ago. So what do you do that? x minus 15. Similarly, they will tell 15 years hence or 15 years after. Though, you take it as x plus 15. So, for past and future, future you will always add it and for the past you will always subtract it. So, similarly, they will also ask in the question, let's take the ages multiplied by the numerical n. Let's like n times of Ram's age or x type of Sita's age or something like that they ask. You always need to multiply. n times age is nothing but n into x. So, x is your present age that they would have given. So, to solve any ages problem, these four concepts should be very clear. So, ages problem is not about how you are going to solve the sum. It's about how well you understand the sum, how well you are segregating the sum in order to get the answer better. To understand the ages concept better, let's solve a couple of problems. So, the given question is, Krishna age after 15 years will be 5 times his age 5 years back. So, what is the present age of Krishna? So, we know that we are going to take the present age as x. So, what are they? Read the question again. Krishna's age after 15 years. So, the future age of Krishna x plus 15 will be 5 times his age 5 years back. So, old age is x minus 5. So, let's now create an equation. Read the question again. Krishna age after 15 years x plus 15 will be 5 times his age 5 years back. So, 5 times here is remember that n times. So, 5 times his age 5 years back. So, x minus 5. So, let's just solve this equation. x plus 15 is equal to 5x minus 25. So, let's take x here. So, it is 4x and we are taking 25 here which is 40. So, x is equal to 10. So, the present age of Krishna is 10 years. So, in this example, so once you segregate the question into 3, you will be able to answer the question. Let us take the Krishna age after 15 years. Take it as a separate bracket and will be 5 times his age 5 years back. So, if you segregate into the present age, past age and the future age, it will be easy for you to find the equation. If Once you know the equation, it will always be easy to find the x. Let us solve another question. So, the next question is, A is 2 years older than B, who is twice as old as C. So, they have given the total ages of A, B, C is 27 and they are asking us to find how old is B. So, we always have to find which is the x variable here. Okay, they are given A is 2 years older than B. So, A is 2 years older than B. So, B is twice as old as B. So, we can take C as X. So, if we know C is X, then your B becomes 2X and your A becomes 2 plus B, which is nothing but 2X. So, what are the other things they have given? Total number of ages is 27. So, A plus B plus C is equal to 27. So, what is A? 2 plus 2x plus what is B? 2x plus x 27. So, 5x we take 2 here. So, 27 minus 2 5x is equal to 25 x is equal to 5. So, we found out x is equal to 5. But is that the question they have asked? No. They are asking how old is B? So, what is B? B is nothing but 2x. So, B is equal to 2x. So, 2 into 5 equal to 10 years. 
So the common mistake people make it here, you will find the x. You will also have the answer as 5 in your question. So you will automatically click 5 and then finish off the question. But read the question again. Are they asking for the x variable? x is nothing but c here. They are not asking for c's age. They are asking for b's age. b is nothing but 2x and that's why we get to know that it's 10 years. It's not only for this. They may also suddenly ask a and b's age. So always make sure that you read the question. The main thing first you have to see in a problem is what is your x. Based on that, segregate it into three different equations. Then you form your equation to find x. Let's solve another problem. So the next question that they have given is, present age of Samir and Anand are in the ratio of 5 is to 4 respectively. Three years hence, their ratio will become 11 is to 9. So what is Anand's present age? So let's write whatever is given in the first type of sentence. So present age they have given in the ratio of 5 and 4. Let's take for Samir, it is 5x. And for Anand, it is 4x. What they have other given? 3 years hence. So hence, we know that. We have to add it. Hen why are we adding it? Because it's a future age. So they are telling that after 3 years, their ratio will become 11 is to 9. We know that ratio will always show it in a fraction. So they are saying 5x plus after 3 years will become 11. Similarly, 4x after 3 years will become 9. So, what we have to do is, we have to find x. So, 45x plus 27, 44x plus 33. So, 45 minus 44 is nothing but x. 27, 33 minus 27 is 6. So, we know that x is equal to 6. So, what are they asking? What is the Anand's present age? So, we know that this is the present age, which is nothing but so for Samir it's 5x and for Anand it is 4x. So we have to find Anand's age. So 4x is nothing but 4 into 6 which is 24 years. So now we know Anand's present age. So in this type of problem if they are going to give it in ratio check if they have given the future one or sometimes they would have given 5 years before. Then you have to subtract it here and then equal it to the ratio that they have given. So if you do that you can easily find it x. So as I say always, always separate your question into different brackets so that you can understand the question better before solving ages. So there are no tricks or something to solve the ages problem. It's all how you understand the question and how you segregate the question in order to find the answer. So this is for the first type of ages problem. In the upcoming videos, we'll be discussing on the various problems that we face on ages. So if you are a person who is looking for a job, kindly register in afreshersworld.com. Kindly like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.